Once you've installed the Windows Home Server connector, it'll prompt you for the installer for Windows Media Center. Click on OK. It will now take you through the Windows Media Center connector process. Now this connector is different than Windows Home Server connector. Enter in your password, click on Next. Give it a moment, the screen will kind of bounce a couple of times as it goes and connects with the server. And you're ready. Now this will restart when you click on Done, so make sure you're prepared for it. Now the next thing that you can do is you can also go into My Computer go into your program files, go into Windows Home Server, and you can actually do the same thing, which is the Media Center Windows Home Server setup. So if you don't see it within your uh, Windows Media Center, you can also double click on this application and it'll walk you through. Again, local disk, program files, Windows Home Server, and that MC Windows Home Server setup. So that's it. Once you open up Windows Media Center the next time, you'll have access to your server and all the media within that. Once you've restarted your PC, you'll now notice that you have a home server icon on your Windows Media Center interface. You have TV archive and console view. Clicking on Console View gives you some basic information about your Windows Home Server. You can see it gives me my shared folders, which are all duplicated. It gives me my free space and my PC backups. It tells me about my drives that are available. It tells me the status of which computers are backed up and which ones are not. It gives me information, shared folders, media accounts, health, and then the Windows Home Server, which includes the serial number. TV Archive is also another function of the Media Center connector. TV Archive allows you to automatically move copies of your music to Windows Home Server after they've recorded. Click on Settings. You can see I can archive all recordings automatically. It moves them to my server and then I can create a compressed copy. Now you have different options here. You can create a compressed copy for Windows Mobile. You can create just a regular uh, TV version. I like the Zoom version because it makes a 720 version. And then down here it says save compressed copy to home server videos folder. Now I've had mixed results with this. I would suggest leaving it in the home server videos folder and not trying to change locations because uh, I've had some of the scheduling uh, services stop occasionally. So let's see what it looks like afterwards. Click on TV Archive. Go to Activity. Now here's my activity. Now what happens is, is that if you're recording over the air or off basic cable, there are no copyright protection limits on your media. You can see here that Beyond the Realm of Consciousness and Star Trek Next Generation, those archives went through. Stargate Universe, however, is through my cable card tuner and that has copy protection. And that means that I cannot move a, um, although I can move a copy of it to the Windows Home Server, I cannot make a 720 copy. So again, if it shows archive failed, it's because you have a cable card show that could not record. And you can see here it's starting to record again in progress. It'll keep looping over and over again. I can actually, if I want, double click on computer. You can see I have my AV25 here, recorded TV. And here is Stargate, which is 1.79 gigabytes, uh, ready to go, uh, but it will not copy over because it has a protection on it. Okay, so I'll close that out. Now, what does it actually look like? If I go to shared folders and I record TV folder, you can see Next Generation is here along with Beyond the Realm. He's recorded and they're good to go. And then if I go into my videos folder, you can see that they have smaller versions of these ready to go. Again, it makes them about half the size.
And there you go. Hope you get a chance to use the Windows Media Center uh, connector for Windows Home Server.